So today is a big one. Let's run through my full bag collection. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcome to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, glad to have you here. For those of you who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you enjoy my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion to slightly more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud, and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you, and just celebrating who you are. Celebrating yourself and celebrating others. So, let's run through the full bag collection today. I've added a few additions, I've removed a couple of pieces, so if you don't see something, the likelihood is I've either forgotten, in which case I'll pop it back in editing, or if it doesn't go back in in editing, it's just gone. So, I'm not going to do this in any kind of fancy way. I'm also not dressed particularly fancy. I'm sorry. I know I like to make an effort for my videos, but for this type of one, we need to grab things. We need to be quick. We need to be snappy. So, let's not worry too much about it. I'm also not going to do it in any particular order. I'm going to keep things moving. I'm just going to grab things as we go. So, I hope it's not too chaotic. I'm not going to focus on any one bag for a significant period of time. So let's kick things off with one of our little friends from Longchamp. And of course, I am talking about the beautiful and fun Pikachu Pokemon collaboration top handle. Really cute, really sweet, love the black leather. Very, very nostalgic, more practical than I initially gave it credit for. I've actually been enjoying this bag a lot more recently. I think I've been able to just work it into my style in a slightly different way. Really pleased that I was able to buy a part of this collection. Really nostalgic for me, a piece of my childhood. Absolutely love it, gorgeous item. So pleased to own a piece of this, fabulous. And another one from Longchamp. Of course, my wonderful Le Pliage in the top handle. This is a canvas, it's a 40 centimeter bag, comes with a shoulder strap, no clue where it is, I always say that. This is from the Pride Collection, gunmetal kind of canvas with the black leather, beautiful bold, really fun, really practical. My thoughts on this bag are well documented. Really pleased again to be able to get hold of this. Called my essay in Regent Street, they sent it to me. It's a great item, really happy with what I paid for it. Looking forward to kind of working this back into my wardrobe in a slightly different way. There we are, Longchamp. One of the newer members of the collection, and this is something that I've recently revealed, I've spoken about a number of times. My citrus yellow mulberry backpack, really truly beautiful, what a joyous colour, a little pop of sunshine. It's got a singular shoulder strap like so. I find it really versatile, really easy to use. I just absolutely love the colour. The quality of this is beautiful, very, very practical, can fit absolutely everything you need in it. It's just so joyful. How can you not have a good day when you're carrying a bag? like this. I absolutely love it. Highly recommend Mulberry. Now a bag from a brand that I haven't heard anyone else say that they have a leather good from. Mercedes-Benz. This is my Mercedes-Benz um, briefcase document holder. It's got some bits in it. Practical, timeless, elegant, sophisticated. I use this as a work bag for a very long time. I'll be honest, I haven't used it for a while because it's just not so much my style of work bag anymore, but that is through no fault of the bag. It is just a, it's a really beautiful item. The leather is lovely. It comes with a shoulder strap. Inside, it's been really well thought through. It's, it's just something a little bit different. It's from an automotive manufacturer. It's a little bit different. You don't tend to hear people say that they've got leather goods from the likes of Mercedes-Benz. So it's nice to have something a little bit different, a little bit niche, really good, like a really beautiful, beautiful document holder briefcase laptop bag. Can fit a laptop of any size pretty much in this. It's a great item. I'm glad I own it. I probably do need to use it a little bit more than I do, but I use it day in, day out for we're going on probably a year, I would say, every single day that I was in the office. It's a great item. I'm really happy with it. Great bag. Love it. So whilst we're on the topic of work bags, briefcases, laptop bags, my first really beautiful kind of work bag, which I relegated a Fred Perry messenger bag for this slightly, I can't believe I used to wear it now, this like blue messenger bag. I bought this beautiful pebbled leather Osprey London laptop case. Beautiful, so well thought through, has, has aspects um, such as the 
strap at the back so that you can attach it to a suitcase, really well thought through inside, front pocket to put all of your essentials in that you just need to grab, also comes with a shoulder strap. This I used for we're talking three years, minimum. Yeah, a good three years or so. It's traveled the world with me. I'm so happy with it. It's also held up incredibly well. Just give it a polish every now and then to keep it in really lovely condition. It will be a part of this collection for a long time. As long as it holds up, I will keep hold of it. Beautiful item from Osprey London. Another piece from Osprey London. I spoke about this one recently. My gorgeous, I think this is the Auburn Clutch, I want to say. Beautiful navy blue mock crop. It's a bit of a wristlet with the wristlet here that's detachable. Beautiful lining on the interior. It's a fabulous, fabulous item. Really beautiful. I love mock croc, as you know. Love the fact that it's not hot stamped. It's got a plate instead of hot stamping. It's truly, truly stunning. Cannot wait to use this. I've only used this once, but it deserves to be used so much more than I do because it's truly fabulous. We're looking for beautifully made quality items at a very reasonable price point. Osprey London. You cannot go wrong. Honestly, check them out, please, please do. Not sponsored, just a very happy customer. Let's talk about another pouch. Again, not used as often as I should, but I just haven't had the occasions for it. And when I have, I've needed to carry more stuff, but I need to use it more. And I'm talking about my Karl Lagerfeld K Pura pouch in the absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, hot pink magenta with the silver hardware. It's stunning, it's edgy, it's fun, it's playful. It fits far more in than you would initially think. The only thing you have to be considerate of is that it can get a little bit bulbous, dependent on what you put in it. But I'm just very conscious of how I lay things and make sure that the things that I need to grab most regularly are sat at the top of the bag. But you can slip your hand through like so. Alternatively, use it as a handheld like that. I personally prefer to just slip my hand through it like that and just carry it like so. I think it's a beautiful item, so happy with it. They do these in a range of different colours from time to time. I don't know if this line has now gone. It was in the outlet and they had it in a beautiful soft pink. Haven't seen any on the website recently, but if they were to bring this out in another colour, I would maybe consider, oh, if they brought it out in a turquoise. How gorgeous would this be in a turquoise? Beautiful, lime green, turquoise, hot pink, bright yellow, citrus yellow. That would be fabulous. So beautiful item, cannot recommend enough. Again, another brand that if you don't want to spend a huge amount of money, but you want quality, impactful items, Karl Lagerfeld, well worth a look at. Let's quickly talk about my gym bag, the place that I should be instead of filming this. I'm trying to pull off going. I'm still going to go. I promise you I will go, but I'm putting off going. So just by like an hour or so. So I'm of course talking about this Fun, compact, easy to use, long chomp backpack in this kind of dusty rose pinky colour. Very easy to use, very carefree, worry-free, folds up. The Le Pliage range, as you probably know, is based on origami, so the folding is a big part of it. It's from the club line. It's fun, you know, it's not, it's not the bag that, you know, sets my heart on fire. I don't look at this and think, wow, I can't wait to use this. It's a gym bag at the end of the day. Let's call it a spade a spade. I don't feel this like huge love for it, but it's great for what I use it for. You know, it's okay. It's genuinely, it's, it's gone up in my estimations since I bought it. It's okay. Don't love it. Don't dislike it. You know, it's not a bad place to find yourself with a bag. And another beautiful, stunning, cannot recommend enough long shop. Oh my word. My gorgeous, gorgeous, kind of long shop monogram mock croc Rousseau. Beautiful. Not the normal colours that I would buy a bag in. I'm not really a burgundy person, but I just love the sophistication of this, but it's bold at the same time. I love the canvas as well. Material bags are always a win for me. Has feet has so much space on the interior, really well thought through, aspects like that to hold your keys. They really knew what they were doing when they created this bag. It's a very timeless silhouette. You can popper it as well to give it a little bit of a cinch in as well. Let me just do that for you on one side so you can see. So there you go, you can cinch it as well. It has a very Hermes garden party look and feel to it, but at a fraction of the price. Truly stunning, I'm thrilled with this, it's gorgeous. Let's quickly talk about my Osprey London shoppers. I have these in two different sizes. 
So this is the kind of medium size, which is a really great practical bag. You can also put an organizer in this to make it a little bit more sturdy. I use them as shoppers and beach bags. They are ginormous. I mean, look at the size of this. You can just use it for absolutely everything. Very carefree. I have mine in a range of different colors. I have yellow. I have, is that the blue? I've got like a sea foamy color and a turquoise. Um, I also have the pink and then I have the medium again in a purple. So great bags, great price point, about 40 quid. If you're looking for a beach bag or a shopper, I use those to just go to Tesco, you know? So you don't have to overthink it with a bag like that. The price point feels reasonable. I know there'll be some people who will be looking and thinking 40 quid for a bag that you take to Tesco is ridiculous. However, there'll be other people who use a bloody Chanel Deville for that. So, you know, it's all relative. So I'm very happy with those. I've been buying those for a number of years. Every time they add new styles or new colors, I try to pick one up. Can't go wrong, highly recommend. Osprey, I've told you, buy from them. They're great, not sponsored. These next four I will try to do in quite quick succession because my feelings on them are well documented and they haven't changed. I am of course talking about the incredible Les Pliage Club top handles that I have. I have the beautiful Cactus Green, which I absolutely adore, one of my most complimented bags. I love the scarf on this as well. It's stunning. The club line um, has since been replaced, I believe, by the Green collection. But what um, that was well known for was the fact that the nylon and the leather had a continuation of the same color. So that's where there's some of the difference between this and some of the other collections. Of course, the favorite, my favorite bag within my collection, this beautiful magenta. Again, I love the scarf on this. It also has an N on it, which was a happy accident, but the color just beautiful, stunning. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. My Snow White green collection. This one is a, it's a strange one for me because I think it's beautiful. I think it's lovely, but do I use it very much? No, I took it out to a nightclub a few weeks ago. Why did I do that? It cleaned up really well, I have to say, because I just put a nylon cleaner on it straight away, got all the scuffs out, but what was I thinking? You're just asking for them to get damaged, but you know, it is what it is. And then of course, this beautiful, beautiful yellow, which is actually pretty marked, I have to say. Mm. Color transfer, marks. Again, it's a light colour. What do you expect? I'm not upset about it. I don't mind that they're showing a little bit of wear. All of mine have organisers in them just to give them a little bit of structure. I'm going to travel with these um, because they are a great way of being able to fold them up, keep them really compact, and it means that I can take all four of those for the size of like one singular bag, for example, or even something like this. You can fold them really flat and they're very easy to travel with. So they're a way of still having beautiful items without having to take up loads of space in your luggage. So when I travel, I'll be taking these with me, probably all four, just to give myself some options. Love my lay pliages. I think they're absolutely stunning. Another bag that my feelings on are very well documented. You know how I feel about this. The Kurt Geiger Double XL Flap. It's a beautiful, beautiful bag. I love Kurt Geiger as a brand overall, as you know. This one is just so fabulous. It's so easy. It's just so carefree. I've used this casually. I've used this in the evening. I took this in out for a night out very recently. It was great because I didn't worry about it. I didn't feel self-conscious. I also didn't feel like I was being overly showy in any way with it. I just felt like it worked. You can carry it by its chains like so. You know, you can do it long shoulder. You can do it cross body. You can just throw it over your shoulder with the double like that. Absolutely beautiful. Cannot recommend enough. I love this large emblem, but they do do smaller emblems as well if the large one isn't for you. They do them in so many beautiful colors and variations and textures and prints. They've got a terry cloth. They've got leather. They have a patchwork. They have sequin. There are so many variations of Kurt Geiger double XL flaps. I cannot recommend it enough if you would like a flat bag of this size. Now that wasn't my first Kurt Geiger double XL flap. My first was this one, which is this beautiful, quite rare, the essays have told me, denim one, which has this lovely gold hardware that really complements the blue. I love the fact that it's a tie dye. I love that it's a brighter blue on the top, a darker blue here, different emblem. 
it's a great, great item. The variation between the two is fantastic. They've got base shapers in them as well, just to help them have a little bit of structure. This particular one is stuffed at the moment. Oh, it's stuffed with another bag. So I'll use that one next. But this is a great, great item. I'm really happy with it. I've used this as a day bag. I haven't used this as an evening one, but only because I just think it's a much more casual style and I have so many other bags that really tick that evening box. So it doesn't need to be used as an evening bag. I'm absolutely thrilled with it though. The bag that is inside the bag. Oh. Here it is. My second Longchamp Le Pliage backpack. This was my first of the backpacks. This is in the club style. It's in the beige. Very easy to use. I use this as a day bag a significant amount. I'll be honest, I've not used this in a very, very long time, which is bad because you should use these things. I just, I haven't used it. I wouldn't sell it. There's no point in selling it, to be honest. I, it will, I will come around to it. I. When did I last use this? A year or so ago? To the fact that I was getting everything out for today and I actually forgot about this. I actually forgot. So that's not ideal, but it's a great little bag. I'm happy with it. I used it so much. I feel like I got my money's worth when I first bought this because every time I wasn't using a work bag, this was what I was using. You know, for a period of time, these were basically the two bags that I was using. For like a year, I was just using these two. So that I think give it a pretty good run. I'm not upset about it. I paid, I think 80 or 90 pounds for it. I feel like I've got my money's worth. So any time that I use it additionally, it's just, you know, that's a bit of an added extra. Not, necess not a necessity, an added extra. And to be honest, if for example, I don't know, like my mum or my dad or someone said, oh, if you're not using it, I'll take it. By all means they could, you know, I would give it to them. There'd be no issue with that because I don't use it enough to be upset about the fact that I wouldn't have it, but I don't see the need to sell it or move it on in any other way other than gifting it, not even gifting it because it's been used, just handing it across to like a friend or a family member. So that's my thought on it. Still in good condition. There you go. Talking about that one, I realised I'm missing another bag because I also have a Le Pliage backpack in the light blue, which is a really beautiful colour. I bought that at the end of last year. Why? I don't know. I really don't know because I don't use the other two enough to warrant having a third. It's not like my club medium top handles where I use them so much. It's worth it to have multiple. These, I don't really know why I have three of them, to be honest, but I also don't know where it is which isn't great. It's probably stored within another bag somewhere. If I come across it, I'll show you. If not, I'll just insert some photos. Um, it's a lovely colour. It's a fun item. Again, reasonable price point. I've used it a couple of times. Probably not enough to warrant the price point at this point, but I'm sure I will use that one because actually out of the three that I've got, that blue is my favourite colour of the three. Um, so yeah, we'll see, where I, we'll see where I go with that. Another bag within a bag situation. We have the first bag, which is this lovely Kurt Geiger medium Kensington in this beautiful navy blue tweed with the black glitter check. The hardware is somewhat of a champagne gold and it has a smaller emblem, which is in this somewhat antique gold. It's a lovely item. Again, all the practicality of a flat bag. Um, I like the fact that you could, if you wanted to, wear it cross body. You could wear it long shoulder. Um, to be honest, I tend to either carry it like that or I tend to just throw it over my shoulder like so. It's a beautiful piece. Um, it's a little bit slouchier, but actually it still works really nicely as an evening bag. I just think it has a formality to it because it's in this beautiful blue navy, but I do have a medium Kirk Geiger Kensington that is much better for evenings than this one. So I tend to gravitate towards that one. This one I've used just as a little bit of a throw on kind of day bag um, type of thing and it and it suits it really well for that. The bag that exists within this bag is my Ralph Lauren belt bag. Safiano leather, small, cute, compact, practical. The belt's in there like that. I should probably actually just use the belt as a belt because it's a bit wasted because I've used this bag, I want to say, 
once or twice. All of the essentials, but do I really use it? No. Can I see myself really using it? No. Similar to the Le Pliage, this is one that actually, if someone said to me, like a friend or a family member, Nick, if you're not using it, can I just take it off your hands? Yeah, they could. They could. So, if any of my pals are watching, you could take this one if you really wanted to. Yeah. Ralph Lauren belt bag. Being a Longchamp lover, of course, I also have Longchamp luggage. So I have four, I don't know where the yellow one is, but I have four of the Le Pliage um, holdalls. These aren't the version that come with a shoulder strap, so these do get pretty heavy. I have two in the XL size, so one in grey, one in the lime green. These are the classic style because they have the brown handle, uh, the brown leather handles. I have the pink, I also have a yellow. Yeah, they're great. Um, for what I paid for them, I bought them all, no I didn't, I didn't buy the yellow outlet, I bought the yellow in Stuttgart, it was my first ever Longchamp bag, the yellow. Um, these three, I bought outlet, for what I paid for them, used them very well, so I've got my money out of them. So I'm happy with those. Um, if you don't like a travel bag that doesn't have a shoulder strap, um, then don't buy these. Go for one of the other styles, so whether that be, is it the Energy? Yeah, I'd probably say it's at the Energy Collection now that you would probably go for. Um, or the LGP Collection. Sometimes the Longchamp, Longchamp Le Pliage Collection as well. It's called Collection. They tend to have travel bags that have shoulder straps. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend going for a club or an original version or a green collection um, if they come in travel bags. So there you go. That's my thoughts. I'm going to do these two together as well because you know my thoughts on these bags. Love the colours. Actually, I have not really used them to be honest. They just are not so much my vibe anymore. I also find this handle really frustrating because it, you can barely get your, you know, you can barely get your arm through it like that. So it, I like to carry things on the crook of my arm. I can't really do that with these. Also, the kind of piping that it's, it's very firm, it's very stiff. So if you're holding on to that and the bag's quite heavy, which it tends to be if it's got a laptop or something, it gets quite heavy and it digs into your hand. So it's not the most comfortable thing. However, one thing I would say is they are very, very practical. They can fit a 15 inch laptop, um, but protection wise, they've not got a huge amount of protection. You can't really put a bag organizer in them. Beautiful colors, just a bag style that really doesn't work for me anymore. Um, can I see myself moving them on? No, I don't think I can. Again, maybe it falls into the same as the, you know, the Beige Club backpack and the Ralph Lauren, that if someone particularly said to me, you know, Nick, I want them, like my mum, my dad, my brother, you know, if they said, Nick, we want, I want them, they could have them. Um, but other than that, am I planning on doing anything with them? No, it's not like they take up so much room. Um, I'm just not enamored by them anymore. Was I enamored by them at the time? I don't know. I don't know that I've ever been enamoured by these. They're very kind of school but baggish, aren't they? You know, this is kind of like, you know, nine-year-old Nick on his way to, you know, year four reading class, you know. They are what they are. Okay, we're getting through it. Let's go for another bag in bag situation. So, the first bag on the top is the Karl Lagerfeld Shopper. I think this is part of the Carconic or K-Iconic collection. Really fun. I don't think it's a leather, but it's this kind of grained material which holds up really, really well. Practical item. Love the playfulness of it. Whimsical. Well thought through. Also has a zipper on the top as well, which makes a huge difference. Just from a security perspective. Also, if it rains, you know, you want to be able to just kind of zipper that up. It's well thought through. It's got this front pocket as well. Very easy to use. What's great as well is that if you don't want people to see that kind of playful element of it, you just turn it around and throw it on your shoulder like that. And no one would ever know that it had kind of the Karl Lagerfeld on the front of it. So it, it's a really versatile bag from that perspective. This is the only kind of shopper, like strict shopper that I really have in my collection um, that I use for kind of work or anything along those lines. I don't feel a need to have another. This kind of plugs the gap for me. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful item. And I'm really happy that I own it. And I'm very happy with what I paid for it. So it's a great bag, nice structure to it. Fun, whimsical, enjoyable. But the item that sits within it is this Abbott Lion 
flat bag in this really lovely, um, in this really lovely le uh, leather, um, velvet material. I have explained why I bought this. I was thinking about Gucci Marmont. This had the same dimensions, so I thought, let's try it for a fraction of the price, see if I like it. It's a beautiful bag, it's just not really for me. I haven't particularly used it. One of the things I'm thinking about doing is have the chains removed and then I can just use it as a clutch bag. I did say to my mum, did she want this? She didn't. So it probably falls into the category of about five or six of these where it's, you know, if someone were to say to me, one of my friends, well, Nick, I'd quite like that, well then they could. Um, um, so yeah, it's, it's a nice item. It's well thought through. I just wish it was a little bit, I just wish it was a little bit bigger, but it's well thought through on the interior. I like the chains. I like the fact that it has the kind of partial leather strap and then the chains there. It's a nice, it's a nice flat bag. It's a really nice flat bag. It's just not particularly for me. So yeah, it's a nice item though. I actually had an Abba Lion top handle, which was in this salmon -y, uh, in this salmon colour and kind of a bit of a mock croc type situation. That one I did give to my mum. She really liked it. I didn't. Felt like a perfect, felt like a perfect situation. Another bit of nostalgia that comes in this little dust bag. This is my Nicholas Kirkwood wristlet um, that was from the 10 year collection that was released, I think back in 2015. Has this beautiful star interior. Pac-Man, really good fun, high gloss leather. I really, really enjoy this. I'm looking forward to using this. I don't really know what I'm using it for. I have thought about using it as an SLG, um, kind of within another bag, but I think it's too beautiful to use for that, if I'm honest. Um, I think it deserves a moment as a bag in its own right. When that moment will be, I will let you know. We are getting there. Let's go for another Kurt Geiger piece. Let's go for the beautiful, beautiful, Kensington medium top handle in tweed with this beautiful multicolour embellishment and the sequins, absolutely stunning. This gunmetal hardware, how beautiful is this bag for an evening? Oh, so practical. I love it, I absolutely love it. When I first saw it in store, I didn't find it to be anything exceptional. I've absolutely loved it ever since I owned it. Same features as all of the other flat bags. Kurt Geiger, another brand that you shouldn't sleep on. I talk a lot about Kurt Geiger. There's a reason for that. There's a reason I've been a customer of theirs for 10 years. They've always kept me interested. I always feel inspired by them. I think they're very philanthropic, beautiful items from a great brand. So shop for a good cause. Whoops, I forgot about this large Le Pliage in this blue, white and red geometric print. Great bag, one of my first Longchamp bags. It's been a bit of a workhorse for me. We are down to our final three. Let's talk about this. MCM, I believe it's called the Arla Shopper in the MCM logo glitch print. Again, this is a fabulous, fabulous item. I spoke about how when I first bought this, I had kind of buyer's remorse over it. I talk about it in um, more detail in the um, cheapest luxury bag tag, um, but it's absolutely beautiful. Love the fact that you can wear it. Top handle, over your shoulder, you can un, um, un popper the interior pouch and use that as a standalone. You can therefore use the PVC bag as a standalone. It's got this great base shape on the bottom. Carefree, don't worry about using it in the rain. Super easy, super versatile. I'm so happy to own it. It's a really great piece. Cannot recommend it enough. And it's really whetted my appetite for MCM now. I didn't think I was cool enough for MCM. I don't care if I'm cool enough anymore. I'm loving their items. I'm going to be buying more of them. Now I know some of my duplicates I have shown together these deserve to be shown on their own. I am of course talking about the Bayswaters. I nearly bought another Bayswater today. I nearly bought a black patent leather Bayswater from Designer Exchange, but when I clicked into it, it was already sold. Dang it, it would have been great. However, I am loving this mock croc. I spoke about this very recently. Do go and check out that video. My thoughts on this have been well documented. Love the um, mixture of this scarf, gold hardware, beautiful leather, mock croc, practical, easy to use, simple, stunning, elegant, all of the above, fabulous bag, great price point, don't sleep on Mulberry. Um, if you're looking for a beautiful top handle, at a reasonable price point that's still incredibly luxurious, this is where you need to be thinking. This is where you need to be going. So, absolutely love it. Stunning. 
and to round us out. This is where we're going. Of course, my fabulous, wonderful, incredible, stunning, mulberry, trippy tiger, Bayswater in this fabulous denim with this beautiful soft blue leather. This was my first Bayswater. This got the obsession started. I've owned this for just shy of a year. I bought this as my 12 month mental health achievement. It means a significant amount to me. It is beautiful. I bought it from Luxury Promise. Bayswaters, you can get incredible deals on the pre-loved market. I'm very, very happy with this. I think it is casual, but in a really beautiful way. I've also used this as, a, as an evening bag and I've dressed it up a little bit, but it's really special. I believe this is from 2013, I want to say. It looks fantastic. I love the silver hardware. So easy to style, given the fact that it's such a bold print, I was a bit nervous that it was going to be difficult. It's really not. I absolutely love it so much. I cannot recommend the Mulberry Bays waters enough, the Mulberry brand enough. I'm so happy that I've started to build my collection with Mulberry and I will continue to do so. You know, you're going to get bored of hearing me talk about Mulberry because, you know, I, I will just be adding more of their pieces along with Longchamp, along with Kurt Geiger. I've really got into a groove with these brands. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what other collections they're bringing out and adding more pieces to my collection. There we have it, everyone. That is all of it, I think. I've probably missed something. Like I said, I'll add it in editing. And I hope that you've enjoyed. I think what my collection demonstrates is that I'm not afraid of having things that are bright and bold and impactful. Classic isn't something I tend to go for all that much. If they are classic, in terms of their shape, they tend to be in a slightly bolder pattern or print. I really just like to have fun with fashion. I like accessories to be reflective of me. And that for me is, is really important. So I really hope that you've enjoyed seeing what my collection is all about. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Do you have a favourite piece? Do you have a least favourite piece? I won't be offended. So let me know what your thoughts are and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Thank you so much and take care. Bye now. Mwah.